Today we're going to look at neutralization reactions and we're going to do this by looking at what substances are involved in a neutralization reaction and then balance some chemical equations of those same neutralization reactions. So let's look at the basic concept behind a neutralization reaction and we're going to take an acid and in this case we're using the acid HCl and I have put that in red because typically acids turn litmus paper from blue to red. And then I likewise have the base NaOH, sodium hydroxide. And again, this is blue because bases turn red litmus blue. Our neutral salt is NaCl and the water is H2O. As a neutralization reaction always combines an acid with a base and salt and water. And what we'll notice is the positive hydrogen from the acid will join the negative hydroxide from the base. That is where we get our water. And the positive metal from the base will combine with the negative ion from the acid to form our salt. Always in a neutralization reaction, we will get salt and water as our outcome, as our products. So here we have um, the beginning of a neutralization reaction and we are combining sulfuric acid, H2SO4, with magnesium hydroxide, Me MgOH2, and we are being asked to predict and balance each neutralization reaction. So if we go by the model we saw before, we will take the hydrogen and combine it with the hydroxide, which means we will get water and we will take the magnesium and combine it with the sulfate to get magnesium sulfate. And this will look like this when we have completed it. So the Mg and OH2 combines with H2SO4 to give us magnesium sulfate, MgSO4, and water H2O. In the case of Hydrofluoric acid, HF, combining with potassium hydroxide, KOH, the metal, potassium, will join the negative ion fluorine to give us potassium fluoride, and the H and the OH will combine to give us a single molecule of water. And so this is our case right there, KF plus H2O. In the case of nitric acid, the formula for nitric acid is HNO3 and calcium hydroxide is CaOH2 and when these recombine we will get calcium combining with the nitrate and we will get the hydrogen from the acid joining the hydroxide from the base to give us water in the formula nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide gives us calcium nitrate plus water So here we have um, five sample problems, taking acids, combining them with bases, and we are to predict the outcomes and then balance the equations. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video at this point, um, copy these problems down, and see if you can predict the products and balance the equation. When you are completed that part of the assignment, go ahead and restart the video and let's see what how your answers match up. So let's see how you did. So here are the solutions to that problem and uh, please check your answers and see if there are any um, mistakes in the work you've done and then go back through the video and see if you can correct those mistakes and we will continue working on this um, as we come back to class and talk more about acids and bases.